Are you familiar with ADAS blind spot detection and cross traffic alert systems? If you're not, don't sweat it. We're going to learn all about them next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> Blind spot detection was one of the earliest advanced driver assistance systems offered on passenger vehicles. The system alerts the driver to objects in the blind spot of the vehicle. Diagnosing and servicing these systems with the right tools, targets, and trained individuals makes for a straightforward repair process. Blind spot detection systems can use radar or cameras, and some systems use both. The radar sensors emit radio waves that bounce off objects and are received by the sensor. The sensors are mounted in the rear bumper. Camera systems will have cameras mounted to the side mirrors or A pillar. The image from the camera is processed by a computer to classify the object. Some systems will use both radar and camera sensors to make a more accurate classification. The information is processed to ensure the object in the blind spot is a vehicle, guardrail, or pedestrian. The more information from the camera and radar, the fewer false alerts. The blind spot sensors can also be used as a cross-traffic detection system. These systems extend the range of radar sensors to detect vehicles when they are in reverse. Radar sensors have a range that starts at the rear of the front doors up to 20 feet behind the vehicle. Some sensors used for cross-traffic detection can extend the range of the sensors up to 230 feet. Most radar sensors process the signals internally and communicate with a module. Cameras have what could be called a fisheye lens and must be able to capture images during the day and night. The images from the system are processed by a camera module, which can then determine if an image is headlights, road spray, or snow. The cameras have a shielded cable that carries the signal from the camera to the module. This is important to note during disassembly of a door shell, for example. Vehicle speed is an essential piece of data for radar and camera sensors. For the blind spot detection sensors to work, the vehicle has to be moving. For most vehicles, the speed is around 5 miles per hour. As vehicle speed increases, how the system processes the inputs from the sensors change. GM vehicles will also use GPS to control the system's radar components. It's interesting to note that if a vehicle enters the Radio Astronomy Zone or National Radio Quiet Zone in Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia, the blind spot detection will deactivate. These zones have very little background radio interference and have both astronomy and military applications. Every system uses warning lights in the side view mirror glass to alert the driver to objects in blind spots. Some vehicles will give audio alerts. The infotainment systems on most vehicles are used to alert the driver of objects and blind spots. The audio alerts can be sent to different speakers depending on the location of the object. Some vehicles may use a seat shaker to alert the driver, while others will vibrate the steering wheel. Early blind spot detection systems had issues with false alerts. Many drivers became annoyed with the systems and turned them off or turned down the sensitivity. More advanced systems use radar sensors cameras, and information from systems like the lane departure. More data and faster computer processors have decreased the number of false alerts. Most radar sensors have a self or dynamic calibration procedure. This procedure usually requires a professional dealer level scan tool to initialize the process and a test drive. Camera systems may require calibration if the unit is replaced or moved. Some of these calibration procedures require target mats to be placed on the floor next to the vehicle. The process will require a scan tool to initiate the calibration procedure. So now you know a little bit more about ADAS blind spot and cross traffic detection systems. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.